I'm here today in Southern California to feature the California sea lion. As you can see behind me there's one, and then as well as down on the beach there's a group of California sea lions, and a group of sea lions is known as a rookery. Now, a typical habitat for the sea lions is similar to what you see here. Sandy beaches and rocky areas where they can rest when they are out of the water. Geographically, California sea lions are found along the Pacific coastline of the United States and are even found in parts of Mexico and British Columbia. While sea lions do love resting at the surface, they also love being in the water and swimming in the waves. They love playing around with each other in the water, and you may notice all the barking calls from the sea lions. These vocalizations are the sea lions' way of communicating with each other, whether that's to show dominance or aggression, or even just playing around with each other. It's also a great way for a mother to be in communication with her pup. In this video, you can see a pup calling out to her mother as they crawl along the rocks. Each spring into summer, males will compete with each other for territories, and the most dominant bulls will stake claims to a territory. When the females arrive, they will be grouped into what's called a harem, consisting of anywhere from just a few upwards to 30 females. The dominant males will each protect their specific harem. After mating, gestation lasts approximately one year, and females will give birth in the spring into early summer. And if you do visit the sea lions in La Jolla in the late spring or early summer, you may be able to see a beautiful act of nature as a mom nurses her pup. Now, the reason sea lions get their name is because most sea lions develop um, extra hair around their neck region, kind of like a mane, and so that's how they get their name sea lion. However, the California sea lion is different in the fact that it does not get a mane, uh, like other sea lions do. So you can see them playing and interacting down on the beach below, as well as behind me, big. And California sea lions are sexually dimorphic, meaning the males and the females, you can tell them apart. The males are generally larger and darker than the females. The females and the juveniles usually are a, more a tan color. And then also, the males, it's hard to see behind me, but I'll show a close-up in a minute. The males will get what's called a sagittal crest. So here's a male, and if you look at his head, you can see what looks like a giant bump, and that's called a sagittal crest. You can also see that the male is darker in color in comparison to a female and juvenile, which is lighter in color and also does not have that raised bump on their forehead. California sea lions will often come out of the water to warm up or to rest, but the Pacific Ocean back there, it is freezing cold. So sea lions have a lot of blubber to help keep them warm in these conditions. Now, you can see that this sea lion has one of its tail flippers raised out of the water. Now, this may seem silly, but by doing this, sea lions are doing what's called thermoregulation, which is where an animal will keep its body temperature within a certain range, even when the temperature of its environment is really hot or really cold. So by raising a flipper out of the water, it can help keep cool or warm up on a hot sunny day. Now, a lot of the sea lion's diet consists of fish, uh, shellfish, or even squid. So sea lions can also hold their breath for a really long time, upwards of 10 to 12 minutes. And that allows them to dive deep to catch all those fish and squid that they need for their diet. 
Sea lions have what's called vibrissae, or commonly known as whiskers. They use these to sense vibrations in the water when hunting for their prey. If you've ever seen a sea lion up close, you know it has really sharp teeth. But unlike humans, sea lions don't chew their food. Instead, they swallow it whole. They'll use these sharp teeth in order to grab fish or squid. If they catch a big meal, they may need to use those sharp teeth in order to tear their prey into smaller pieces. You may also see California sea lions hunting for food alongside whales or dolphins. Here is a large group of sea lions following behind a pod of humpback whales in pursuit of anchovies. A lot of times you might see sea lions out on buoys like you see here. They'll do this either to rest or warm up in the sun, or they might even be doing this to escape from predators such as killer whales or even great white sharks. Now if you've seen sea lions on land, you know that they are pretty awkward when they're moving around, but in the water they are excellent swimmers. Their streamlined body is perfect for maneuvering through the waves and making quick turns in order to catch prey or to maneuver away from a predator. The grass that you see here is an excellent place for you to find sea lions as there is a lot of fish that hide in the grass. Sea lions have fantastic eyesight, so when the water isn't as clear, they're still able to use their whiskers and their great eyesight to catch fish. It's amazing watching sea lions swim through the water as they're so graceful and natural swimmers. While sea lions have no natural predators on land, their fur is covered in oil, and when it dries, they appear lighter in color, and that light color will naturally blend them in with the rocks as a camouflage. A question I get asked a lot is, what is the difference between seals and sea lions? And as you can see the sea lion walking behind me, they walk on all fours. Now, seals, when they are on land, they just inch long like an inchworm. Another distinguishing characteristic is sea lions will have an external ear flap, as you can see here in this picture, in comparison to seals, which only have a hole for their ear and no external ear flap. Furthermore, seals will move around similar to that of an inchworm versus sea lions, which will walk on all fours. Thanks for joining me on my wildlife expedition, and I hope you've enjoyed learning about the California sea lions.